Okay, so with this video, I will actually demystify the entire mystery of TDE keys. I've met a lot of DBAs and a lot of security admins who actually get confused with the number of keys and the terminology of keys that are actually used with TDE. So guys, notice that you have two types of keys, first of all, right? One is the TDE tables key and other is the TDE table space key. So we discussed that there is either column level encryption or there is table space level encryption. So if we talk about table space level encryption, then there is a table space key. Now this table space key is actually something or a key which is stored inside the database. So if you see, this is our database, right? So even the table key, which is related to column level encryption, and the table space key, which is related to say table space level encryption, it's stored inside the database. Now the table space keys is actually stored inside the control file, also on the uh, data file headers, right? So it's, uh, it's stored at two places. I would say it is the control file also on, in the data file headers, or you can say it's actually stored in the data dictionary. Now this table space key is also known as DEK or data encryption key. Because if you're talking to uh, say security admins, they talk in terms of MEKs and DEKs. So you need to understand what is a DEK. The first one, which is the DEK or the data encryption key are created and managed by TDE automatically. So when I'm talking about the data encryption key, I'm talking about this table space key or this table key, right? Now, the thing is that now you need to protect these keys as well. So how can you protect your data encryption key? You need to protect that data encryption key using an MEK. We call it the master encryption key, right? Now, if you're talking again to the storage, ad, uh, so to the security admins, they use another term called KEK. Because if you're thinking out of Oracle, Oracle calls it master encryption key, but uh, in the security uh, world, they call it the KEK, which is key encryption key. So again, your master encryption key or the MEK encrypts the data encryption key. So I'll, I'll, I'll uh, tell you again. So you are actually protecting your table key or the table space key through a master key, right? Which is the MEK. Now you will ask, but where is the master encryption key uh, stored? So guys, always remember that the master encryption key is actually stored inside a key store. Now, in the previous uh, video, we saw what are the types of key stores. Either it can be a software-based key store or it is, um, say, hardware-based key stores. And always remember, a master key or the MEK, master encryption key, is always stored external to the database. You can't store uh, your master encryption key inside the database. So that's why you either store it uh, outside the database, either it could be file system based, or it could be uh, say in, in a hardware security module. So as I said, master encryption key is stored in your key store or a wallet. As we have shown here, it could either be stored inside an Oracle wallet, or if you're talking about an HSM or hardware security module, then you have uh, a solution from Oracle, uh, which is Oracle Key Vault. So guys, I believe now the entire mystery around TDE key architecture would have been resolved. Again, repeating myself, DEK or the data encryption key is created and managed by TDE automatically. A master encryption key or MEK is the key which encrypts the data encryption key. And the master encryption key is always stored external to the database. Either you can store it in Oracle Wallet or you can store it in Oracle Key Vault. So thanks for watching.